Yeah. You have time to rotate the ball, score, and then the double foul ball. First of all, salute to every single one of y'all out there for checking this out, man. Um, it comes as very sad news that we've lost Kobe Bryant at age 41 to a helicopter crash. And, um, you know, this is not my normal battle rap content, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm normally so used to blogging on battles, battle rap, things like that, you know what I'm saying? But salute to every single person out there who watches it. But uh, as a fan of sports and as being a fan of sports, I think most folks of our generation grew up watching Kobe Bryant. I'm not a Lakers fan, but being a New York sports fan, Kobe would torch us. I mean, whew, I, I'll get into that a little bit later, but uh, obviously um, Kobe Bryant, world, world renowned talent. I mean, larger than life, five championships. Uh, member of Los Angeles Lakers for 20 years, 18-time All-Star. Um, I'll just read the article. And um, Kobe's daughter was lost too. Um, Gianna, she was 13. And then there was um, some other individuals. All of that hasn't panned out yet. But I'll just read the article. It says, uh, Kobe Bryant, the 18-time NBA All-Star who won five championships and became one of the greatest basketball players of his generation during a 20-year career, with the Los Angeles Lakers, died in a helicopter crash Sunday. He was 41. Bryant died in a helicopter crash near Calabasas, California. A person familiar with the situation told the Associated Press it was unclear if family members were on the helicopter. The crash happened around 10 a.m. near 30 miles northwest of downtown Los Angeles. The FAA spokesperson, Alan Kennitzer, said it was a Skorsky S-76 and had, had not known what caused the plane crash, I mean the helicopter crash. Bryant retired in 2016 as the third leading scorer in NBA history, finishing two decades with the Los Angeles Lakers as a prolific scorer with a sublime all-around game and a relentless competitive ethic. He held that spot in the league scoring ranks until Saturday when the Lakers' LeBron James passed him for third place during a game in Philly, Bryant's hometown. Continuing to move the game forward at King James, Bryant wrote his last tweet. Much respect, my brother. Bryant had one of the greatest careers in NBA history and became one of the game's most popular players as the face of the 16-time NBA champion Los Angeles Lakers franchise. He was the league MVP in 2008 and two-time scoring champion, and he had earned 12 selections to the NBA All-Defensive Team. He teamed up with Shaquille O'Neal in a combustible partnership to lead the Lakers to NBA titles in 2000, 2000 2001, and 2002. He later teamed up with Pau Gasol to win two more titles in 2009 and 2010. Bryant retired in 2006 after scoring 60 points in his final NBA game. Bryant looms large over the current generation of NBA players. After James passed Bryant on Saturday, he remembered listening to Bryant when he was a superstar, when the superstar came to speak at a childhood basketball camp. I remember one of the things he, he said, if you want to be great at it, you have to be one of the greats and put the work in. James said, there's no substitution for work. James later also teamed up with Bryant on the 2008 Olympic team in Beijing. He had zero flaws offensively, James said. Zero. You backed off of him, he could shoot the three. You body him up a little bit, he could go around you. He could shoot from mid-range, he could post, he could make free throws. He was just immortal offensively because his skill set and his work ethic. Bryant was a basketball superstar his entire life. He entered the NBA straight out of high school in 1996 after a childhood spent partially in Italy where his father, former NBA player Joe Jellybean Bryant, played professionally. The Lakers acquired the 17-year-old Bryant in a trade shortly after Charlotte drafted him. He immediately became one of the most exciting and intriguing players alongside Shaquille O'Neal, who had signed with the Lakers as a free agent. Bryant won the dunk contest as an upstart rookie, and the Lakers gradually grew into a team that won three championships. Bryant and Gasol formed the nucleus of another championship team in 2008, reaching the 
straight three straight NBA finals while winning two. In 2000, well, I don't want to read that. Um, but what I will say is um, a legend, um, definitely a legend, uh, gone, gone way too soon. I will say before um, a lot of like battle rap really, really took form, we were mostly all coming up NBA fans, you know what I'm saying? And to see that, uh, and even if you wasn't a fan of the Lakers, like you marveled at what Kobe Bryant was able to do on the basketball court. I mean, his footwork was unlike anyone else's. I mean, we had Michael Jordan, who obviously to most and to myself is the greatest ever. But Kobe Bryant was literally like a mold of Michael Jordan all over again. Someone who could jump out the gym, who could lay up from anywhere, free throws, play defense. And the thing about Kobe is Kobe actually played defense. Um, he wasn't one of those type of people that when he was out there, he would coast on defense. He would play defense. He would accept the challenge. There's something that's not happening a lot nowadays, you know what I'm saying? When you see a lot of these players, uh, load. Kobe Bryant came before the load management era. There was no load management in Kobe Bryant's era. You knew if he was healthy, he was on the court. He was not going to be sitting on the sideline because he had that kind of competitive drive, you know what I'm saying? His, his competitive nature was so 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 supreme that you knew every night he was gonna bring it i mean when he when he tore his achilles he, he tried to come back uh he shot free throws after he tore his after he ruptured his achilles like we can never discount the fact that he shot the free throws on a ruptured achilles um while he was getting older he continued to be around and try to mold and he knew when it was his time to go and um, you would still see him at games. He would still show up. He would still, you know, just show up and support the Lakers. And um, he was all for them when they uh, picked up LeBron James in free agency. You know what I mean? So to see someone so young leave so soon. And a lot of us, uh, a lot, many people, you know what I mean, that, that were fans of Kobe are in our 30s now. And Kobe Bryant was not much older than us. You know what I'm saying? And um He's gone now at just the age of 41. Um, what I will say is uh, this one is not easy. You know, it's definitely not easy to see someone as important to urban culture. You know what I'm saying? As far as like, um, like, like sports, you know, rap and sports, they move synonymously. You know, Kobe Bryant rapped at one time. Wasn't really good at it. I mean, it was what it was. He was good at a lot of things, but rapping just wasn't one. Um, he did rap, uh, you know, but uh, he was definitely a family guy. You know, when, when, as as his as he got older, you know, he was definitely um, about his family. He had all girls, and I, I remember reading the article. He had a, another child. After he had three girls, he had another one that was an infant. And I was like, goodness gracious, Kobe Bryant is just never going to get a boy. And he just kept having girl after girl after girl after girl. And um, I will say that, you know, we got to value our lives. You know what I'm saying? We have to value them while we have them because you never know. Nowadays, you really, really never know that when you're going to go. You know what I'm saying? Like, that that's the crazy thing. I think that we if anything we can take from this is that uh, you never really know when you're going to go. So when you have time, make sure you spend your time with your families, spend your time with your kids and little frivolous BS beefs and things like that, like all of that stuff, you can put that stuff behind you. Like I really look at things now, like whatever issues I may have had, I don't got no, I don't want no problems with nobody. I don't want no issues. Like all of that is dead dog because you literally could be here today, gone tomorrow. Um, to see someone so young that was talented, he was doing coaching, you know what I'm saying? He was coaching the girls team. And um, he was literally heading to a game, you know, where his daughter, who also passed, was uh, was actually she was a really good basketball player. You know what I mean? She was a young, beautiful girl, had a whole life ahead of her, and to see her life, you know, ended shortly, it's just it's crazy, man. I mean, like one of the greatest players ever. You cannot say when you mention who's the best ever, the best ever. Kobe Bryant is right there. Right after Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant's name is in that sentence, man. Like, he, he did it, dude. I remember many nights, many, many, many nights going to sleep torched.
because Kobe Bryant would put a 50 piece on us, put a 45 piece on us, put a 30 piece on us. And it was just like whenever he was out there, they were gonna do, they were gonna do their damage. I remember a time he played Smush Parker? Smush Parker? Y'all don't y'all remember them Smush Parker Lakers? Oh y'all don't remember them Smush Parker Lakers. Oh my god, they were horrible. Kobe used to drag some very bad teams out there. Um I remember when he had just got drafted by the Charlotte Hornets and they immediately traded him to the Lakers for Vladdy Divox. I don't think Charlotte ever got over that one. Traded him for Vladdy Divox, and then when he first came in the league, he used to sit behind Eddie Jones. And I know for a fact, you know, Kobe had a competitive nature to him that he wanted to play immediately, but he sat behind Eddie Jones for a season or two. And I think that him sitting behind Eddie Jones probably was what helped him come of age because at the time, Eddie Jones was a, was like a formidable player at the time. Eddie Jones was an all-star, you know what I mean? Like Eddie Jones was not no joke. So it was like, you know, even though Kobe Bryant was sitting behind him, Eddie Jones was Eddie Jones. Like it wasn't like Eddie Jones was, was trash, you know what I'm saying? Like he was definitely a, a really solid player. And when Kobe Bryant got there in 97, 98, like Eddie Jones was an all-star in 97, 98, and 2000. You know what I'm saying? So while, uh, well, while Kobe Bryant was there as a rookie, Eddie Jones was an all-star. So it's hard for Kobe. It was hard for Kobe to get off the bench behind him. But then after the '99 season, uh, you know, they, uh, the 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 Lakers moved on from Eddie Jones, and it was Kobe Bryant's time. And once Kobe Bryant got his time, it was. <laughs> It was over, you know what I'm saying? But I think that a lot of that time that he sat behind Eddie Jones was very crucial to his uh, to his development, you know what I'm saying? Because, uh, and then, um, I, like I said, he got traded, but for the most part, Eddie Jones, from what I looked at on the stats, in 96, 97, he was playing 37 and 38 minutes a game. So there was really no room for Bryant to get out there. But when he did, you know what I'm saying, he showed flashes of what he was able to do. And, you know what I'm saying, hopefully, and, and, and the Lakers organization, they saw what eventually would become their uh, their greatest player, one of their greatest players, you know what I'm saying? The Lakers had a lot of legends go through that. Um, obviously, him and Shaq, they had formed a, a duo, you know what I mean? The, 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 phew, when they formed that duo, they was going crazy. They, what? Him and Shaq? I know it probably the way it ended probably wasn't how it should have ended, or maybe the way it probably would have ended, but them three years that they was together, 99, 2000, and 2001 seasons, they was going crazy, man. They, the Lakers was, it wasn't nothing to be messed with. Kobe Bryant was killing people, and Shaq was right there. Everything that he missed, Shaq was right there cleaning up. And then, um, you know, Kobe went on to play 20 seasons all with the Lakers, you know what I'm saying? Um, he had, a, he had seasons where he had injuries and things like that, uh, but he never really missed most of a whole season until the 13th season when he had tore his Achilles or whatever the case may be. And then, you know, he came back. He came back from that, you know what I'm saying? And he had another injury season. And then he had his last season in 2015 where he wound up, he wound up scoring 17 points a game, but he was, he was injured and we knew it was his time. And then he had that last game where he played against Utah and dropped 60. He took a thousand shots, but so what? It was Kobe, Kobe, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was Kobe, like, for real, dog. Like, like uh, you know how many things are gonna change? You know, everybody as a kid or at some time in their life remember walling up some paper. <laughs> Kobe, you know what I'm saying? Everybody did that at some point in their life. Come on, who didn't? We all did it. Um, and I just wanna say, rest in peace, to one of the greats, you know what I'm saying? Um, like I said, this is not your casual battle rap blog, you know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not, I just wanted to, um, it was immediately, like once I seen the news, I was like, damn, you know, that was my, he's my favorite player of all time. Uh, and to see that, I got, uh, I got this one, I got this Lakers jersey, I got the blue one, I got the purple away joint. Uh, I got a bunch of them, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm a New York sports guy, but Kobe Bryant will resonate well. Um, him doing this, when he's from fight, fight the Jersey and all of that, um, uh, his sneakers, like he changed the way the sport was played. Like he definitely changed it. Like he had mid-range, Kobe had mid-range game, he had post-up game, he could shoot the three, he could make free throws, like his game was Perfect, and it's just one of them things where uh, 
you know, I, I feel bad for his family, especially losing um, his daughter at the same time. I, I couldn't imagine what those final moments were like, you know what I'm saying? I'm sure he was probably, he probably went out trying to save her, you know what I'm saying? And, and for that to happen to them, you know, it, it's one of them things where life is not guaranteed. You know, I got a, one of my homeboys is in the hospital right now. I went to go visit him last week. And, you know, it's just one of the things where we have to take care of ourselves, you know, take care of our friends, take care of our family, you know, and just be there for each other. Because when times, when things like this happen, it's like, Damn, what could have happened? What could have been done different that could have prevented this? And it's just you don't know because you know, like I said, he he was. They said he normally traveled via helicopter because the traffic in L.A. was so crazy. I remember I went to L.A. a couple times, and um, the traffic there is so crazy. Somewhere that usually takes like four miles in L.A. will take an hour and a half in traffic. It's like it was worse than New York. The L.A. traffic is crazy. Worst traffic I ever seen. So he was just literally just. Jump on a helicopter, helicopter here to there. So I mean, he probably didn't think nothing of it. But to see uh, how this went down is just kind of crazy, man. Um, but um, like I said, you know, I just wanted to come out. I mean, jump on camera real quick, talk to uh, you know, what I'm saying the subscribers and folks like that, and just you know, say that hopefully you know um, that 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 you all are doing well in y'all lives. You know what I'm saying, and, and that it is what it is. You know what I'm saying, but. Uh, to see Kobe Bryant gone so soon, you know what I'm saying? Like, that was... Rest in peace to a legend. You know what I mean? Like, that was, he was a real legend. Legendary player, legendary in, in what he did. And as a father, you know what I'm saying? And as a husband. He wasn't perfect, but nobody's perfect. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, he, he showed, after whatever went on, he showed that he could, that he could rebound. Life is about rebound. We've all had to rebound from things. He showed that he could be a better father. He was a better father. He was a better husband, and he did what he had to do. They had four children, and um, you know, to see what what went on is definitely a tragedy, man. So, uh, other than that, man, salute to every single one of y'all out there. Like I said, um, this is not your normal battle rap blog. You know what I'm saying? I'm not talking about no bars and none of that stuff like that. But I've been rocking my Kobe all day, you know what I'm saying? And who know, I don't know when I'm gonna take this off, you know what I mean? Like, it is a sad, sad, sad moment right now for all basketball fans. And it doesn't matter what team you, is your favorite team, you know what I mean? Like, it was, it was, it was Lower Marion High School's pride, you know what I'm saying? Like, the Los Angeles Lakers pride. And I know a lot of them are heartbroken right now. But other than that, man, salute to every single one of y'all out there. Y'all stay up, 100. MVP, MVP. MVP.